If you're just learning uh, the guitar and you're interested in studying chords on the guitar, one of the uh, terms that you're going to hear is open chords. You're also going to hear the caged system. We're going to find out what the caged system is. Open chords are when you're incorporating strings that don't have fingers, you know, pushing down on them. These are the open strings, right? And uh, the interesting thing is, uh, in most of your beginning guitar method books, they only give you about 15 chords. You know, there's like 15 standard open chords uh, that you learn right at the beginning. And then you ask yourself, well, uh, there's no G minor chord, there's no C minor, uh, uh, how do you learn those chords? You know, do I get another book? Well, rather than go out and buy, you know, uh, Eddie Monogram's book of 12 million chords for the, you know, the beginning guitar player, uh, you're better off learning the cage system and finding out where all these other chords are for yourself, because that way, you know, through self-discovery, uh, it seems like it jogs the memory better and you're able to memorize where all these chords are if you find out where they are yourself. So, there's a reason why when you get these uh, beginning books that they only give you 15 chords, because hopefully, uh, if you want to learn more about chords, you'll uh, explore the cage system and find out where all these other chords are. Anyway, E chord, you know, E major, about the E chord is that they usually never say major after it, but if you just see the letter E, it, take it for granted that it's a major chord. If it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and it doesn't say one other thing except just giving you that letter, automatically that means those are major chords. You know, they don't say A major, B major, C major, D major, they just say A, B, C, and D. Well, those are your major chords. Here's what they sound like. Here's E major. Yeah, why don't we start with A major? Here's A major. D major. E major. Notice I got my right hand really relaxed. I'm just strumming through these chords. Now don't tighten up this hand ever. Just always keep it relaxed. Just is like the E, only up one fret higher. So uh, what you do is you change the fingering to these three fingers and then bring it up one and put your index finger there. Just strum those four strings. Bar chording is when you lay your finger, your index finger flat across the guitar like that. It's the equivalent of taking the nut, which is this part of the guitar, and bringing it up to the next fret. It's like shortening the neck of the guitar. The shapes are the same. But you're moving the chord up higher. This is where the cage system starts to take over. We're going to talk about that after we learn these uh, basic first position chords. So we got an E, an A, a D, an F, we got a C, 